In this lesson, we're going to take the work we've been doing with circles and translate it into how it would show up in the coordinate plane. Now we're going to begin with talking about circles themselves and how we can graph them or write the equations for them. Theorem 1216 tells us an equation of the circle with center at hk and radius r is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. So from the diagram here on the right, we have the center of the circle at hk, and it hits some point on the edge of the circle xy, and the distance to that is r. So we have x minus h squared, y minus k squared. We're adding them together. It gives us r squared. A lot of what this will work out to be, and in a good policy for anything in mathematics, is when you have your standard variables x and y grouped in with something, the ideal situation is to try and make that zero. It will help you to find the middle of your graph. So let's take a look at a situation. Let's say we have a circle who has a center of uh, sorry, a center at three five and a radius of eleven. What would the equation for this look like? Well, standard part is we're going to have x minus squared plus y minus squared equals our radius squared. So what is the x part of the point for the center? Well, because it's 3, we have x minus 3. Plus y minus, what's the y part of that center? Is 5 equals 11 squared. Simplifying this, we get x minus 3 squared plus y plus, not uh, y minus 5 squared equals 11 squared is 121. So we're able to find the values here simply by substituting in what we have for what we want. Now, let's take a look at a different one. What would it be if the center was located at negative 2, negative 1, and we had a radius of the square root of 2. Well, using our formula again, we have x minus squared plus y minus, sorry, minus squared equals our radius squared. Now, what's the x part of our coordinate? Well, the x part is negative 2, so we have x minus a negative 2. And then what's the y part of our coordinate? It is a negative 1, so we will have y minus a negative 1. Now let's simplify. What happens when we subtract a negative 2? We get x plus 2 squared plus, what happens when we subtract a negative 1? It becomes addition, so we have y plus 1 squared equals, what is the square root of 2 squared? It is simply 2. So not all radii will be nice convenient numbers. Sometimes we end up with items that do come out as irrational numbers. So what else can we do with this? Well, what happens if we're shown a graph? How do we change that visual form into an equation that we can work with? Here we, have an we need to write the equation for a graph that's center at 1, negative 3 and passing through the point 2, 2. So let's begin by putting the parts of the equation that we know. We know we'll have x minus plus y minus equals r squared. So we're subtracting the x part of the coordinate, which is 1. We're subtracting the y part of the coordinate, which is a negative 3. And then we're going to have to find r. So let's begin by saying x minus 1 squared plus y plus 3 squared equals. Now we need to do a little side work to find out what that radius is. The radius is the distance from the center out to that point. And the way we can calculate this, distance is going to equal our r, which will be the square root of 
the distance between these two points. So our vertical change from negative 3 to positive 2 is 5. Our horizontal change from 1 to 2 is 1. So this is going to equal the square root of 25 plus 1, which is the square root of 26. Now, because r is the square root of 26, when we substitute this in for r squared, what we will end up with is simply 26. The squaring of our radius will get rid of that square root. So the equation of this circle is x minus 1 squared plus y plus 3 squared equals 26. And then you'll have to calculate it down in order to find individual pieces, like what is the distance of that actual radius? Well, it's going to be slightly over 25, or sorry, slightly over 5, because that is the square root of 26. Next, what happens if we're given an equation? How do we draw the graph? So we need to graph the circle with the equation x minus 5 squared plus y plus 3 squared equals 36. First order of business is going to be to locate the center of this graph. Our center, according to the equation, is going to be whatever it takes to make the individual parts 0. So what does it take to make x minus 5 become 0? Well, that would be a positive 5. Next, what would it take to make y plus 3 become 0? That would be a negative 3. So we're going to have our center located at 5, negative 3. Next, what is our radius? Remember that this number here on the end, 36, is our radius squared. That means that our radius is the square root of 36, or simply 6. Now that we have those pieces, we can go through and locate our center and do the graphing. Let's begin by putting the axes on our grid provided. Then, once we have our axes established, we can place our center. And that center is going to be located at 5, negative 3. And then, we can put in our radius of 6. Now, the ideal way to do this is to use a compass, set it out so it measures 6 of the units on your graphing grid, and then draw a circle with that. If you do not have a compass handy, a way you can do this to help slow the pro or speed the process, make it a little bit more accurate, is count your radius in the four main directions. So that means we move six to the right, six down, six to the left, and finally six up. With these points in place, it becomes a lot easier to attempt to draw a circle from it. Again, this is going to be a little bit of freehand, so bear with me for the accuracy of the shape. That becomes roughly our circle. Again, ideal would be to use a compass. Putting a compass to the video here is just a bit difficult to do. But, main steps in doing this. Locate your center. Calculate your radius by taking the square root of what the equation is equal to. And then, simply plotting your points and draw the circle. So, using circles in the coordinate plane does take a little bit of getting used to. The equation's a bit different than things you've seen in the past. So make sure you have this down and that equation in your list of notes and be ready to use them.